Surfing session 136, 18 months into my surfing progression. Today, I was able to have a few runs with several turns on my surfboard. My top turns felt especially great today, and I was channeling a lot of the skateboard park practice onto my surfing. I went for a nice surfing session in two to three foot waves, but there was a secondary swell, two stars on magic seaweed. It was crowded. I caught a few good waves and I was able to work on several turns on them. I felt a great sensation of acceleration on my top turns today. I was actively trying to turn my head and twist my body on each top turn. So for example, I would be looking down the line in one direction and then when I executed my top turn, I would actively try to turn my head around to see the white water in the other direction. It felt great. I felt like I was accelerating forward. I also felt like I was leaning forward more and touching the water. It was especially evident on my backside top turns when I would lean on my toes and try to lower my right hand to touch the water. It felt like I was channeling all my skateboarding practice at the quarter pipe in the skate park. I've been taking my surf skate and my skateboard to the skateboard park to practice turns on the quarter pipes and the bowls. This land-based training has helped me a lot to get my muscle memory. The skateboard park has also helped me with both my, both my bottom turns and my top turns, and I'm able to practice uh, doing turns even when it's flat in the water. On another wave, a, a lady was in my way, but I was able to do a beginner cutback to avoid hitting her. That felt great to make several turns and stay stable on the surfboard. I also noticed that I'm still looking at the front of my board a lot, and that slows me down on my turns. Perhaps I'm trying to avoid the nose from diving, or perhaps I'm looking at my GoPro too much. It's like a magnet for me. I can see the f in the footage that when my gaze is down the line, or when I'm looking uh, around on a top turn at the other end of the line, that down the line the other way I mean, that my board's rail carves more and that my surfboard accelerates better in one direction or another. So I'll try to work on that direct on the direction of my gaze more and chase that sensation of acceleration a lot more on my top turns. These were the best waves I caught today. However, I had a lot of wipeouts today too. Here are a few examples for your entertainment. The waves were wide and they seemed to, you know, they weren't A-frame waves and they seemed to rise up and close out quickly. So we didn't have a lot of time to catch the wave or ride it. It was also high tide, so the waves were forming much closer to the beach as opposed to low tide, where they can start out to form further out in the ocean and give you more time to catch the wave and ride it. So there were many instances where I was nose diving during the pop-up and uh, also when I was trying to do my turns, I would also fall off. Despite all these wipeouts, I treat them as learning opportunities to see what I could have done differently, such as better positioning, arching my back more, or doing an angled takeoff to fit the wave better with my longboard. This, uh, thanks for watching. This is part of my surfing progression videos on my YouTube channel. I'm about 18 months into learning how to surf. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please click like, comment, or subscribe. And if you have any friendly tips, especially on top turns, and uh, looking down the line, please share them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you.